So before we start the oil cooler install on this truck, I just want to go over something for any of you guys out there that have to run a front license plate. So in order to get nice fresh air going through this duct opening on the front bumper, we're going to have you relocate your license plate below this opening. But don't worry, all the included bracketry and hardware is going to come with the kit. When you're routing these lines onto the truck, keep the protective caps on them. Uh, as you're feeding them in, it'll protect them from getting any dust and debris in the lines. So the oil lines need to be fed up next to the steering gearbox, over top of the oil line bracket, the routing bracket that we bolted onto the side of the engine, and then back down towards the oil adapter plate on the side of the engine. You're gonna pull them back further than they need to at the oil housing. This way you have enough room to feed them over the front cross member and get them lined up with the cooler. You can then attach them to the cooler and then go to the back of the engine and attach them to the engine. So you're gonna pull the lines down through here. This way you can have enough clearance up front. Going the other way doesn't really work. It's, it's, it's too hard of an angle that they need to make. We've included factory replacement O-rings. So when you remove your stock oil cooler, remove the O-rings that are already on the side of the engine, throw them away. You don't want to reuse them. That's going to cause you weeks. We've included new replacement O-rings. Clean the side of the engine, put these on, and then you can bolt on the oil housing. The line itself can swivel as well as the fitting can swivel. Okay, so when you're installing these ORB fittings, which is O-ring o boss, um, so they seal on an O-ring, uh, they, will, they will spin freely, but not freely enough to twist them in by hand. You are still gonna have to use a wrench. So being mindful not to cross thread these as they're going in, basically give it a little bit of a wiggle as you're threading it to ensure that you don't cross thread any of these fittings as you're putting them into the oil housing as well as into the oil cooler. 